Do you hate spiders? I know, I know. They're great for the environment, they kill other bugs, and they're nature's wonderful little helpers. But that doesn't mean I have to like them. When one of them is in my house and my wife is screaming at me to kill it and the closest thing I have to me is a frying pan, you better believe that spider is getting squashed. That is, in the simplest terms, the premise for Kill It With Fire. And don't get me wrong, this works remarkably well and has a wonderful gameplay loop associated with it. A huge thanks to Casey Donnell and Games for providing me with a review copy of the game on PS4, and a huge thank you to them for not making the graphics more realistic or I don't think I would have ever made it through the game. Kill It With Fire is simple at its core. It's a puzzle or objective based game. You'll work your way through nine different levels, each one chock full of fun objectives, collectibles, upgrades, and equipment to find. Oh, and I guess a few spiders. These objectives will have you doing various things around the different maps, all while trying to kill as many spiders as you can, in as ridiculous way as possible. You'll use everything from revolvers, C4 explosives, molotovs, shurikens, a frying pan, a weed whacker, a shotgun, and even a rocket launcher. Talk about overkill. You're armed with a trusty spider radar that you can upgrade as you go, allowing you to find where the spiders are in each stage, and after killing a certain number of them, you can unlock more areas of each map. Find more objectives, complete them, kill more spiders, and repeat. Each level also has a final challenge called the Arachno Gauntlet that will really put you to the test as they're usually timed and either give you limited ammo or some other crazy objective that makes them frustratingly fun. The game is accompanied by a great James Bond-like style soundtrack that fits really well. Each weapon has its own set of sound effects that all sound really great. Plus, there's a wonderful sound effect that's played anytime you're near a spider that has spotted you and it's on the move. It reminds me a little bit of the strings in a horror movie and always gets me sitting on the edge of my seat scanning around for that little bugger to blow up. While the graphics of this game are simple, I find they are really effective and I'm really glad they're not hyper realistic as one of the types of spiders you're battling are jumping spiders that jump straight at you. I kid you not, I still jump almost every time it happens. There are eight different spider species that you'll be hunting down throughout the game. These range from baby spiders who die in one hit, to black spiders who require a little more damage, jumping spiders who freak me out all the time, sticky spiders who block your vision with sticky webs, exploding spiders who, well, you get the point, as well as a few others that I'll leave for you to discover. Each has their own identifying look and different mechanic that makes it extra satisfying to squish or shoot or burn them, you choose the method. You will start each stage with one objective and can find more by picking up glowing pieces of paper around the stage. These can be anything like break all the picture frames in a house or find special USB sticks to insert into a computer. You'll find all the equipment you need in each level to complete them. This just requires you to keep your eyes open and look around your surroundings. Plus, you'll be killing spiders. Lots of spiders. The more you kill, the more rooms and objects you unlock. Eventually, after killing all of them, you unlock the exit and your way to the next level. As you find and unlock more and more weapons to exterminate the spiders, the gameplay gets more and more crazy as you'll discover new species of spiders and upgrades for your radar that let you track them down easier. You can also pick up and interact with most objects, and I love the fact that spiders hide on the back of a lot of objects, so you'll pick something up, rotate it just to see the spider there, jump off and start scurrying away, just begging to be squashed. There's no health bar in the game, so you never have to worry about setting yourself on fire. Trust me, if there was, no one would ever finish this game. This leaves you just to wreak havoc and solve the objectives. There's a very minimal but silly story associated with the whole journey, but I won't go into it as the best parts are revealed at the very end. You can replay any of the stages with all the gear and equipment you've unlocked. As well, you can't equip all upgrades at one time, so you can experiment and come back with different abilities just to have some more fun. There's some really fun trophies to get along the way on top of the in-game objectives, but besides that you won't find much else in terms of replayability. Overall, I had a really fun time with my 8-10 to 10 hours or so with Kill It With Fire, and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking to solve a few puzzles, and want to take out a lot of their frustration by shooting, squashing, or blowing up some spiders. Kill It With Fire is releasing on PS4 and Xbox on March 4th. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, Happy gaming.